If you're looking to create some visually stunning AI art for free, then I highly recommend checking out Leonardo.ai. It is a fast-growing web-based AI generation tool that gives you much greater control over your designs. Unlike Midjourney or Blue Willow where you have to utilize Discord chatbots, you can jump right in using their web-based app. Instead of taking more time to study the language, you can immediately bring your imaginations to life using existing assets. This saves a lot of time for a lot of people, and I love it. Right now, in early alpha access, you can create up to 200 images a day. In this video, I'll walk you through some of the tools and models, as well as show you one of their newest tools where you can draw in your prompt. Let's get started. Once you're whitelisted, you'll be able to access their app. In the home page, you'll see featured models. These are existing presets that you can use to start creating your own images. Below that, you'll see recent creations. I always love checking out what's currently trending and what everybody else is up to as it really shows how fast a community is growing. To get started, click on the fine tune models on the left menu. It'll take you to the page with all the presets. These models allow you to really focus on your design. Think about models as shortcuts. You can simply choose a style that you like and generate your own version. It's really that simple. Go ahead and click on generate with this model. Once you hit that, you'll be able to see your AI generation tool. In here, you'll see your previous prompts and your generations. These are some of the ones that I did previously. In the user interface, it's going to look similar to other AI art tools. This one is very similar to Playground AI. Here you have your number of images, your image dimensions, your guidance scale, that's the weight of your prompts, your step count, that is your details, your tiling, that is your patterns and background, and you get the image, which is like your blending. So there you have your prompt, and it's where you can put any prompt that you want, the model that we selected um, previously, and then you have your negative prompt and your prompt magic. Prompt magic is a tool that you can use and you would just experiment with this to see what you can get. And then of course, this is where you generate. So let's generate a portrait together. This really tells you how good the AI art tool really is, whether it's really detailed or it's not good at all. So we're gonna head and put portrait of older woman with pixie cut hair, just enough detail to get us started since this one already has like a good filter. Click on generate and it says right here that it does cost one token. Um, you do have some tokens every day and it does reset and it tells you how long until it resets right there. Um, right now it's about up to 200 images that you can do every day for free. So there is a limitation there but again it is free and at 768 pixels by 768 this tool is pretty good for what it is. Click on generate right there and then you'll see it start generating your image. Uh, for me, this usually takes about 10 seconds to 30 seconds, depending on how many images I want. Uh, the pros of this is that you get up to eight if you want to roll that many and spend that many tokens. But normally one to two works enough for me just to get started. So we have our image ready and you can see right here, she's very detailed. This is really realistic. It's almost like a black and white drawing, almost not so much a photo but the details are amazing down to the hair color the facial features the wrinkles and if you do like it you can press download and if you don't you can also just do the delete image right here and there's not a lot of options in terms of image size because we don't have that right now but that's okay and right here you also have other options so you can unzoom an image you can remove the background you can upscale an image and then you can edit in canva um, editing allows you to play with your tools so i'm going to do a couple more portraits so we can use them in that tool so right here we're just going to do a portrait of a woman with pixie cut hair hit generate again maybe i'm going to do four so i can get a range of different portraits to choose from these are much better i do like the look of these i don't know why when you said old it just gives you black and white but that's okay um i think her photo is actually really good so let's let's work with this one so we're gonna go ahead and click on this over here edit in canvas 
this allows you to play with this amazing tool that lets you really fine tune your art. Um, if you don't know Photoshop, if you don't know how to edit, this is a good way to do it. I know this is really similar to Playground, but there are some differences here that I think is really cool. So I'm going to show you what I have and what we can do in here. So let's say I don't want this earring. So what I would do is just click on this brush right there and make sure her photo is covering this little square. That's where the artboard is. So you just paint over the earring. And then you just request um, skin and then click on generate and it's going to generate this photo again but removing that part and hopefully she's not wearing the same earrings and as you can see it did change and if you like it then you can keep it and press accept and if you don't you can hit generate again or just cancel altogether. now these do cost tokens as you can see this cost me one token um, and then there's other variations. Sometimes it's a little bit off, like maybe the hair, if you're doing the hair, it's a little bit off and it allows you to choose like, which one works best. I think the first one did work best and we're going to go ahead and save that and then you can see the difference there. So this is the pan key or you can use alt or option and then you can just click and move the board around so removing an earring is a simple editing tool but i do like this tool because you can do a little bit more compared to playground i'm going to show you that this is actually on like a, a whiteboard sort of system i do enjoy that i'm, I'm using this pan key right here um, the whiteboard allows you to work on multiple photos at the same time so let's say you're doing different expressions it's really easy to create that i'm going to show you a quick example Example of what I did on over here. This one was the first image I did in Mid Journey. I didn't like it and I didn't save it, mostly because the hair is just in her face. I don't know why in this world she's growing hair out of her forehead and part of her inner eye. And so I was able to just do that masking tool with that brush and paint that over. And then I was able to remove that hair and I was like, what else can I do? I didn't like that she was bald. And so I went ahead and added some hair on over here and she's, she's less bald right there, right? Um, and then these are other variations of what I did. This one is a little bit better. It has hair on the back as well. And then I was trying to see if this is better than Playground in terms of the eyeballs. I know Playground always gave me issues with the coloring of the eyes. So right here, I'm just going to show you. Right here, <laughs> this was generated in Playground and her eyes were always really creepy to me. Like the white of her eyes just didn't work and the green just like overpowered everything. And I couldn't figure out how to edit this um, within Playground. So what I did over here, as you can sort of see, is I just completely replaced her eyes and it was really easy. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. This is grabbing that box that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and move this if I can. Press the select tool and we're going to move this on over. You can also hold the space bar to move on the whiteboard and move it to the photo that you want to edit. Drop it on there. And now we select the draw tool again. That's the brush. And if you make a mistake, you can use the eraser. So we're going to use the brush. And to zoom in, just go ahead and scroll on your uh, mouse there. And then paint where you want to paint. I'm just going to paint her eyes right here. And I'm also going to paint her lips to show you what we can really do. So brown eyes. And a smile and hit generate so the eyes are still a bit scary it's very pink and red i think because the white of her eyes are just really pink but her lips are very natural now which i do like so um other thing to note here is you can edit uh the stable diffusion up here the models up there change the dimensions um, and also do the guidance scale step count the same thing in terms of like the weight of your prompts like you really want some brown eyes you're gonna get brown eyes and then step count is the detail the more you turn on the more tokens it'll cost so i'll just be uh, wary of that in case you run out of your tokens there i just want to make sure you have enough to play play around and explore a little bit 
this tool in Leonardo makes me want to come back and play a little bit more and I, I love the usage of this being able to fully customize a little bit more and having more control right if you don't have time to change it in Photoshop or you don't have the experience or the opportunity to find a graphic designer you can simply do it yourself in here and I find that it's, it makes it so easy and so fun and if you can just imagine like just quickly painting somebody's lips and being able to generate multiple photos at a time without having to like redo and rehash and all that stuff it just it's nice you know so I'm definitely impressed by what they have to offer and I'm excited to be able to join and learn more from this community. As promised, I wanted to share how to sign up, go to their website, put in your email and click count me in. They're going to request for you to join their discord, just go ahead and join it, sign up and then you can join the community. In the time that you get to be waiting to be whitelisted, you can really learn what everybody is up to. They're really small and they're really actually growing a lot. So all the announcements, all the updates is within Discord. So definitely take your time and uh, browse through. You're gonna be asked to go ahead and fill in a couple of informations on who you are. You can skip this if you want. It's really easy to answer like what you like to do. Um, you can see that I was just skipping through a couple of these just so we can move forward and then once you're in you get to read all the rules announcement feed they're really on Twitter a lot so you can follow them on there and then you'll be um, asked to fill out a form in order to get on the whitelist um, the form is really simple it's on Google uh, forms you just put in your name and your email it doesn't have to be your full name there's no credit card so you're safe once you submit the form it'll take about a day for you to get an email invite and then you're pretty much good to go